So to get some more interesting tones and variations on your drum loop, let's try shifter. So we're just gonna listen to this drum loop without shifter. Now we're gonna bring shifter into the track. So basically what you can see here on the left hand side, you've got coarse and fines. So all this does is pitch shift by these semitones, but it depends on the mode. So you can change frequency and ring. So let's just start with pitch shifting. And we can fine tune the pitch shift. And we can make it wider. And we can increase the window size and decrease it. So there's quite a lot of stuff that you can do. You just set these back to the default. Then you've got a delay feature, which sounds really interesting once you go to these sort of lower levels here. Let's increase the feedback so we've got a bit more of that delay. And we can go down to milliseconds just to get a wider sound. What we're going to do now is going to change the LFA rate and we'll just have a look at how it looks here on the visual signal. So we've got an LFO of triangle at the moment as um, the default. So as you increase the amount, you see the changing LFO. And we can try, we can try the different shapes like saw. And we can go from spin to phase. And we change the phase position like that. And we can change the duty cycle so it just sort of breaks up a bit like that. We've got an envelope file, we won't go into that at the moment. And we can just listen to the frequency difference. So you can imagine putting that into return and just getting kind of a changing frequency on top of the drum as you go at the same time. And then we have ring. It's using a lot of CPU, so it might break up a bit in terms of sound. Let's just go back to pitch mode. Go back to spin. And just say we like some of these sounds. Say we want this sound here, but we don't want it on the whole drum track. We want it on, say, just the kick. What we can do is you can just move it to the sliced beat here and just move it onto the kick. So it's just affecting the kick. Thank you, that's it. If you've got any questions about Shifter, it's super cool. Please do not be afraid to comment. Thanks, bye.